What's up everyone, it's Jan Boers, new video and today I'm going to talk about Malta. It will be strictly reaction, who is the winner because I didn't check anything about it, I didn't have time, blah blah blah, it doesn't, it's not important. I'm going to watch the live finals, to saying I didn't watch it wouldn't be true. I saw something on the internet but without music, I'm very very strict on this so this will be very initial live reaction but I saw some copy paste elements i don't know if they are true so after i will watch the video in here i will try to match it also with what i have on twitter and then let's talk more i don't know what i'm going to say right now so yeah let's talk about malta for what i've heard what i've read on the internet i can expect something like a slow-mo Copy. If this is true, definitely she wouldn't be the only one we saw this year. So many, actually, I would say we saw even last year at Eurovision, like Israel. I don't say it's a copy paste, yes, but the fact that they invented this dancing solos from Fuego, actually, it was slow mo. <laughs> These songs, it was also on Benidorm in so many national selections, the same formula. It's like, yeah, this worked, let's do it the same way. I think it doesn't matter that much. If it's done perfectly, then why not? Because then it means it's still good, right? So let's watch Sara Bonici loop. Nice edit. Okay, it has exactly the slow-mo rhythm. But she says, this is nice. I don't think this was a slow-mo. She sucks very nice. She sings very nice. It's not such a strong song as a slow mo, but it has exactly the same rhythms. Like. And she's losing a little bit of voice in here, she's, but she still holds it. But it's exact. But it's okay. It's not exactly the same. I like her voice, really. Like, like, did she, like, what does she see? Uh, what does she sound? Because it's, it sounds like Camion. Okay, this is. Like you can compare this with slow mo. Come on, it's not, not there. Not really. That was nice. But the way how it's edited, even on this very small stage, it's very nice, clever. So on the big stage, that has a big potential to look amazing, actually. Okay, so we have like a slow mo slash Israel combination. It's long. But she still holds the. Like, definitely she can sing the whole song through, which is amazing. It's not an easy thing to do. And it's authentic, because you can see, you can hear that there is no auto-tune or something, so it's a lot of dancing or something. Of course, it must be there. Rather more times than, than less. So that's a new thing at Eurovision. But of course, at the end, so it will be ending like this. But I have different problem with the song. With the song, actually, not with the performance. Huh, good. So, let's just first react on this before I start comparing whatever. Even I think it's kind of obvious that there are so many, I wouldn't even say inspirations, like there are some phases which, especially by sound actually, which are the same. I will then show you also the compare the video about the same moves, but uh, I will tell you more about this later. I went through with the clear mind to see it. I didn't know what to expect, if it's good, bad, how is it? I tried to avoid all those comments, so, so those judging comments. And in my opinion, it's okay. It's maybe even good, I can imagine, on the big stage with the better mix, it will look and shine much better. Like, first of all, Sarah, Sarah's voice, it's it's really good. Like, she can really sing it through the whole song. Even she has to move a lot. She has a lot, like, this is not easy. And she made this. So for this, like, this is a big up. This is a definitely big up. For the fact that it's a ripoff and not such a perfect one of something what worked okay that's i'm not a big fan of it because that means that it's created basically for eurovision you know like hey what's what's now in eurovision working perfectly what what can stand out yeah this this can stand out okay let's do this and it's there but i understand like this is a big problem of in general i don't want to say music because that's i don't know but 
This is a big problem of television nowadays that so many, so many producers, and I'm not just for producers, but the people above them, they are like, let's not be creative, you know, it leads nowhere, we are not that creative as somebody else. Let's copy paste some ideas and maybe spice it up a little bit somewhere and somewhere. Of course, mostly because those people are not creative at all, zero, most likely. They copy paste it badly or wrong or not that good. So not even that they are copy pasting, they're not copy pasting it better. And I think when you're copy pasting, you must do it better. So it's more like an inspiration and you elevate the, the primal idea you are copying instead of taking it and doing it worse, which happened in here kind of. Also musically, can we blame somebody? Can we blame the artist? I think this is the producer's thing. This is the producer's thing. This is what annoys me on television in some regions, also in Czechia, also in Slovakia, in Romania, very much that instead of forcing people to come with new, fresh ideas or let's get the inspiration, but how would you do it better? They are forced to, hey, let's copy paste. And then they're thinking it's like, it's zero creativity. And that leads to degradation of television in my opinion. So this is not a good way. On the other hand, not to criticize something, as I said, she sings it perfectly. I think if it's edited like this, maybe even a little bit better, it would just stand out. It would work. It would work. Musically, it's average, kind of. And the reason is only because I heard it so many times and it doesn't pop out now from the screen. I think at Eurovision it can really pop out and I can change my opinion in here. It doesn't pop out and it feels long. I think it feels long and this is the, this is my biggest issue with the song. It's three minutes, if two minutes 30, it would be much more dynamic, much better, much stronger because to fill three minutes, you, you saw that how many dance things that must be. I won't go this way, I would shorten it at least 15 seconds or something for dynamics. Dynamics, it will pop out, it will stand in your mind, it will burn in your brain and vanish and that's it and it's like, woo, what happened? I want to see it again. If you are in the mood that after 2 minutes 30, 2 minutes 40, you feel like, ah, now will be the solo, so let's wait for the solo. No, this is not a good idea in my opinion. Or it could have been done better. But if I can say and judge a little bit in general that this has no chance or something, I wouldn't say it actually. I think this has a chance, like it depends like on which, which, which semi-final actually is Malta. Let's check also this. So Malta is, I think it's in second semi-final with Czech Republic, yes. Actually, if you just say what songs are here, we know we, we know that Austria would probably have something very similar because they will copy paste against some idea like that, in my opinion. This is just a guess, yes. I think this is very pragmatical. Then. Malta having this ripoff of uh, slow mo Switzerland. They said that they won't have man ballad this year, so it's very possible that also they will have something like this dancey. Greece, I also expect something dancey. Czechia has that very dynamic song. I think if they will again prolong the song for three minutes, it's a huge mistake, especially for the vocal capabilities of the singer. It's a, it's a deadly trap. Albania, dynamic song, Denmark. I think Denmark from studio version has only one good choice and that's not a dancing song. Armenia, who knows? Okay, like I'm guessing from out of the crystal ball that makes no sense, but it's not an easy, it wouldn't be as easy semi-final, but if they will pop out and I think the big, the juries are not there, but if there are juries, I think they would find out that, okay, maybe not a perfect song, but how she made it, like she nailed the vocals better than than uh, Chanel in slow mo, honestly. Let's just watch how similar it is to slow mo, yes? Because I saw this on Twitter. I'm very curious about the opinion about this. Your opinion? Yeah, uh, like it's a little bit out of context, but they are definitely same move, same ideas. I would just say it's shame of on choreographer. There's zero creativity. They could get inspired, but don't do it the same way. There are a million ideas. What can you do with five guys on the stage? And this is it, because then I can say it still looked good. And there still probably was a lot of original ideas. We just, on the other hand, it could be a reminiscence, right? So why not? I don't. I don't care, like if it's done properly, no, don't copy, 
don't copy paste, don't copy paste. It's lazy television, lazy television. Then anybody else can do your position. Anybody else can do it because this is even it's not easy to copy paste stuff. Then you know the secretary can do it easily. The janitor can do television easily. Just do this and just copy it. It will be sometimes better, sometimes worse. Who cares? But okay, let's see. I don't want to judge now. I think it can have chances because it's not a, it's not a disaster. It's not a step back. It's something what a little bit annoys me by principle. But if I just take the act, how it how it works, and if it's just shorter, that has a possibility to go through. I kind of like it. I I cannot say I dislike it. But maybe you have completely different opinion. As usual, you tend to do it, but that's okay. Don't be shy about it. Write me in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell when you're subscribing this channel. And also watch my other videos. And probably there will be also follow-up for Malta about who is Sara Bodeci. And that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. And see you next time. Bye.